Alright, so Sabi, welcome back to the channel. Today's battle is on the Mountain Pass map, and we've got Fury from 1AR in the lever, and he's in a platoon with line balls in the same tank. It's interesting camo on this tank. It's definitely camo because the base one is grey. Seem to get the benefit of the camo. Not that makes a huge difference to heavy tanks, but um, it does give you a little bit of extra protection from distance. Alright, so he's heading towards the ice road. And as you've probably seen, there's been a few changes in this map um, in the last release. And he's just coming up to one of those areas that has changed this platform on the left. A held down tank, uh, that's a defensive position you can fall back to and I think that was brought in because um, once you get past the corner you can pretty much um, just keep pushing if you're coming from the north side so just coming up to this spot here it doesn't have a real shot at this point but hopefully the obsidian will light up anything that actually comes around the corner but it doesn't really have a productive spot all right so that's spot to T28 Maybe you've been spotted by the egg target prototype that's on the bridge. Uh, okay, T32 has moved right up to the corner here. We bounced the first shot. And we'd like to put a shot in. <laughs> Takes a hit from the T32. One is tracks, but a big whack from the T28 up on the um, top of the road. But uh, it's alright. Uh, it's fair. Anyone's got a gun? It's the T28, unfortunately doesn't pin. I mean, it does a bit of support here, the KB4, KTTS, and the CC67. Oh, there's a whole lot you can punish, and it does exactly that. So it just wants to make sure they're not going to get smart by the M41. And now it's going to go at the T28. And unfortunately, it doesn't land a penetrating hit. Line him up again, and this time he does some damage. Unfortunately, the KV4 gets taken out by the T28, but now he's got another chance to line him up, go for that lower plate, and gets another penetrating hit, which is good. Well, it's the T32 to push up, and both of them hit the CC67, so I guess the only target that was there at the time. Another pin from Fury on the T28 takes him down to one shot of all. This T32 being a bit of a pain. Get the kill. No, he's going to back away. Yeah. Swap shots with the T32. Unfortunately, can't take advantage of his better DPM in the Lerva. Not hugely better, but um, just get rid of that gun at the back if you can. And unfortunately, the, just the dispersion at that range just lowers the probability you're going to get the shot to land exactly where you're aiming. That's part of the game. C67 snapping towards the T32 doesn't land a penetrating shot either. Fury puts another shot into the T32 and he's almost one shotable. Depends on the high roll and unfortunately the C67 goes down as well. So up to Fury to control this spot and he does by taking out the T32. Gets a nice high roll there. And now we can focus the T28 who fires deciding, alright, this is the right time to push. So in terms of the game balance, they are one tank in front, got a bit of a hit point lead. This could go either way though, at this stage of the game, they're only really just the first five minutes ticking over. So a third of the way through the battle. T28 is still lit, but looks like he's backing off a little bit. So he's going to need all his gun depression here. Crawls up the hill, but the T28 can't afford to push out in front and get to taken out by whoever now he's fired. So, this is the time to try and get in a shot while he's backing up and reloading. And he does exactly that, gets the kill. So, it opens up the lead a little bit. And that's the second kill to Fury. Blind balls this one. And Fury 
trying along here. He's lost just under half his health, so still in a pretty decent position here. It's going to take at least three shots from most tanks to take him out. Fireball's picking up another kill there. So you get three kills each in a platoon. That's Brothers in Arms, I think. So anyway, we'll wait to see the end result there. He's not getting spotted as he comes up here, so if there is anyone at the back, then they've got pretty low visibility. There is an arty in the game on each side. Oh, there's a Borsig. This takes a big smack from the Borsig. <laughs> it takes him. There you go, three shots to. No, not that there's a Borsig around. No, that takes him down to 170 hit points. Now, there's a Scorpion G, dangerous, but uh, he angles nicely. Puts a shot into the Scorpion, and the Scorpion's fired, so he gets a chance to fire again before the Scorpion reload. And he'll get that shot in, which he does, and bounces the other incoming round. So, trading well with the Scorpion here. Over 3k damage now to Fury. And there's a G-Saw up on the hill there with the Scorpion. So he's definitely one shotable to just about anyone. And he takes his time coming up here under cover up the hill. And there's the G-Saw, goes for the turret and goes straight through. He's firing premium rounds here exclusively. And the Scorpion's fired. So he could decide to push in. But um, just wants to see the shield, gun shield of the Scorpion. And the Scorpion rushes out but can't get his gun down in time. And there's an arty. Takes a hit of him, takes him down 80 hit points. Can he get the kill here? No, unfortunately. But he gets some spotting damage, which is nice. And the remaining tank doesn't have much time left in the game. So I'd say this is a victory. And five kills to Fury. Which is a bit, of a, a bit of a good result there. So anyway, let's go and have a look at the details. Right, a nice result there. 3.8k of damage, 5 kills, and another 858 of assisted. It's also blocked 1130. So he's earned the high caliber award for the most damage in that game. And Brothers in Arms with um, Lion Balls. So that's at least 3 kills each. So Lion Balls managed to get 3 kills, so that's good. And overall, he's earned the Ace Tanker Mastery Badge. So let's have a look at the team score. Alright, so he's finished on top. With base experience of 1547, so that's a nice level there. Uh, Lime Ball's coming in in third place there with uh, damage and experience, but the three kills has earned both of them the Brothers in Arms medal there. Alright, so Type 59 coming in second place there, reasonable contribution, and also BZ 170, 166, I should say. And uh, the uh, enemy side, that T32 that they uh, Fury is facing getting uh, the most EXP would be spotting for the damage for the T28 I would think and the T28 pulling in 2k so it was a tough flank to to win uh, but uh, Fury got the most out of that which was good all right so what did it cost this is one of the first premium tanks in the game from memory it's only my first premium tank uh, you send up firing 18 shots and getting six, 17 hits out of the 18 so great shooting 14 penetrations uh, that's indium great deal of credits plus a bonus for playing in a platoon that's a significant bonus there 87k just for being in a platoon so think about that um, ammunition cost 72k and all these consumables had to be paid for so it's a bit sad there but still made a profit of 79k so great game there from fury um, hopefully you enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up and I don't care if you didn't enjoy it still give it a thumbs up I need it anyway <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, have a look at doing that. We'll have more great content to follow. Thanks very much for watching.